I'm Jonathan Gordon. I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade social studies. I actually have four years of teaching experience, and they've all been with Center City, so all here. Some characteristics of the school that make it a unique are really our parent-student-teacher relationships that we build. Um, we actively become involved in our students' lives, um, not only at school and in their work, but in their after-school lives and in their parents' lives. My school's leadership um, works with us actively to help with our lesson plans, craft our teaching skills, and work with us on a weekly basis just to become better. I engage with the families of my students by, um, first of all, just making parent phone calls and actively involving myself in their lives. And then the other thing is, as a middle school teacher and as a team, we send out a newsletter biweekly so that we get involved and parents know what's going on in the classroom. My name is Emily Feltmos. I teach middle school math, and so that's sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So this is my first year as a teacher here and in general. I think this school is unique because it's so small and we really are a family. We all support each other because we all know each other. I know grandparents, parents, kids, their little sisters, their cousins. And so it's not weird to have different family members coming in and out of my classroom all day long for various reasons. Um, so we really are like a family here. Our leadership supports us by they are always by being always on our side and if something goes wrong, either with us, with our students, with families, they're there supporting us and helping us through every step of the way, day or night. Um, we also, teachers um, have continuing education all the time. Every Friday we have um, professional development, so we're always trying to improve our craft and bring new ideas into the classroom that way. There are a lot of different ways that I engage with my families and the students. Um, I send home letters almost weekly and just so parents can know what the kids are up to, what they're doing at school, and how they're doing at school. I also contact specific parents on the regular if there's need. So there's text messages that get sent, sometimes nightly phone calls, sometimes it's just messages in agenda books. Um, so communication is constant. And a lot of that is because it's such a small school. So we see each other. I'm there when the kids get dropped off. I'm there when they get picked up. 